Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play this song called Lift Yourself by Kanye West. I'm going to teach you how to play that instrumental background, kind of like sample that loops throughout the song, okay? It's pretty awesome stuff, goes like this, give you a preview. And it repeats, okay? And then you can make it more awesome by like improvisations and stuff like that. Let's get right into it and learn the block chorded melody version first because that's the found fundamentals, the foundation of this, okay? So here we go. Break it up to two parts to learn it, okay? The first part, right hand, starts on the high C here. Middle C is here for a reference. We'll go up an octave to this C. We'll go up another octave. This is the C where we start on. So it goes C, B, C, B, C, C, C. And that is the right hand for the first part. Okay, one more time. So it goes like this. C, B, C, B, C, C, C. Okay, that's the right hand for this first part, okay? So with that in mind, left hand, we have G minor 7, and we have four of these G minor 7 chords. This is a four note chord, okay? So it's um okay. G, B flat, D, F, that is G minor 7, okay? So you play this for four times, so it's two, three, four. Okay, so that's it. The two hands together for this first part goes like this. The C and the first G minor 7 together. Next C and together. Next C together. After that last C, G minor 7 by itself. Like that. And that is the first part. One more time, so it goes like this. Together, together, together. Here. Simple stuff, that's that. Okay, together, together, together. Here. Simple stuff. Okay. So that is that for this first part, okay? So once you get that, right hand for the second part, right hand goes down to the F, 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 G. Just like that, four notes. Simple stuff once again, right hand. So the second part goes like this, so four notes. F, 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 G. Simple like that, that's the right hand. Left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are, okay, a bit different this time. So two G minor seven chords once again. So G, B flat, D, F, so two of them. Followed by two A minor seven chords, which is A C E G. Two is two of them as well. Okay, so with these four chords in mind, so G minor seven twice, followed by A minor seven twice. The two hands together goes like this. So it goes G minor seven by itself. Right continues. Next F and the G minor seven together. After G A minor seven by itself. A minor seven by itself, just like that. One more time. So it goes like here, together, here, here. And that's it. All the time. So it goes here, together, here, here. And that is it. Back to back, the two parts of this section. Just, just play like this. Check it out. And is, that's it. Repeat. And that's it. Okay, so simple stuff. Pretty quick lesson. And you got it, okay? So yeah, what you can do after you get the melody and chords correct, then you can actually just like play around, maybe some left hand uh, rhythmic accompaniment, like improvisation. Uh, so you can be like. Still based on the chord, okay? You're just playing around with the notes and the rhythm, okay? So it requires a little bit of hand, hand independence. So if you're still a beginner, that would be a little bit hard, but uh, just get the melody and chords right first. If you can get that, then you can have more freedom to play around with it. So something like this. Okay, let me see. So um, the main thing, because like the right hand is actually not doing much, um, in essence, you can actually do kind of like this improvisation based on the chords as well without the melody. You can be like. Something like 
that, okay? So yeah, so there is two chords in this, the two different chords, G minor seven and A minor seven. So that's why you can just like play around and try to like improvise around it because it's not many chords, it will be easier to improvise, okay? But anyways, yeah, so that's that, okay? So have fun with it. told you and then add some improvisation to thickening up the texture make up your own and then like do like your improvisational section okay so that's how it works so that's why it's important to actually know how to uh, how melody and chords work because from that you'll be able to do a lot of other stuff from it okay but anyway that's how i always teach on my uh, youtube uh, it's filled with like literally multiple thousands of these piano videos for you to enjoy and learn from so check it out if you want to learn more piano from me check out my website as well yeah uh, bestpianomethod.com linked in the description below where you learn a lot of other advanced stuff learn how to play by ear improvise read sheet music music theory uh etc etc it's a lot of stuff but anyway check it out as well as for now that's pretty much it enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.